Hello, this is Hawk Bean, and today we are going to tumble. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Does anyone else realize that we're like the first generation on Tumblr? Give it 10, 15 years, and we'll all be grown up and an entire new set of kids. And we'll be on here or blogging about completely different shows and bands and movies and books. The only thing they'll still be blogging about the same as we are is Doctor Who. Hopefully. We'll probably be blogging about Sherlock Season 4. Maybe. This was made on July 22nd, 2013. We'll probably all be blogging about Sherlock Season 4. Maybe. Happy decade anniversary to this post! A little bit over a decade, but yeah. I wish I was famous in the 70s so I could I'd go Oh, on the Muppets show and flirt or with the Muppets. Yeah, yeah, it's all fun and games until Miss Piggy tries to fight you in the studio or parking lot for stealing her man. Ewan. Originally Tolkien... I uh, having to scroll... Do zoom in. Originally Tolkien and intended for Ewan to marry Aragorn. Later, however, he decided against it because Aragorn was too old and lordly and grim. Imagine that. You're Aragorn. You're Isildur's heir. You inspire loyalty wherever you go. All who know you love you. Your people will follow you into the gates of hell. You're a deadly and valiant soldier. Your hands also have magic healing powers. You save Middle-earth and become a great and beloved king. Your own creator still says you're not good enough for Eowyn. Think about this one often. I spent countless hours turning aluminum and wedding wire into this chainmail blanket. Why? I like having weight on me when I sleep, and I like to be cool. The heat dissipating properties and weight of aluminum are perfect for this. Rose getting a good night's sleep. <laughs> Tea drinkers, unlike you filthy, disgusting creatures, I only drink dr green chamomile peppermint raspberry lemon tea, which makes all my insides glow spit ten times brighter and improve. I could feel my body get healthier by every drink I take of my delicious hot mug of tea. You are absolutely disgusting and a waste of human potential. Coffee drinkers, mmm, love those beans. Someone taught Agnes as trigger warning drama. Coffee drinkers, I am unimaginably powerful. I can see through time. I haven't slept in four days, but who needs sleep when you're on a higher plane of existence? The beans are in my soul. They're in my heart. I am the beans. Soon I will vibrate in the harmonic resonance of the universe and transcend. Tea drinkers. Mm, hot leaf juice. So drinkers, that is coming. That is coming. Pass me a hot dog. Energy drink drinkers. Just a fucking kill Bill Sirens, play on repeat for eternity. The caffeine fandom is fucking wild. Why, Mr. Gross, he's the friendliest bird in the forest. Finally, some real heckin' news. Girl, are you a medieval executioner because you are torturing me with your rag? Official boob post. The concept of Hannibal is so freaking funny. It to me. I can't get over it. Like, hmm, when it's find out who's doing all these crimes. Now let me go to my friend Haggravated LaSalt's house. Whose line being in her life was a blessing? The dumbest way to die. 
Oh boy, it's stuffy in this submarine. Crank, crank, crank. I just love the fact that the submarine has a manual window crank. Thank goodness I did this in advance and totally not because it crashed earlier. Or because I made a mistake. Zuckerberg, whose company has been blamed for enabling a genocide in Myanmar because it did not bother to hire moderators who speak Burmese, for example, and that one of his life's biggest regrets is competing on the fencing team in high school rather than wrestling. Neither of those things have anything to do with each other. Vice News writers have not been to college. Me either, but I still don't have to write an article. Read a comprehension quiz! Why has the author chosen to construct these two ideas in one sentence? What is the effect this contrast has to the reader? 2. Can we determine the author's opinion of Zuckerberg from the work? What impression of Zuckerberg is this work meant to evoke? Okay, how the hell is uh, what team you competed in more regret than accidentally e e enabling genocide? Well, assumingly accidentally e enabling genocide. Giving you the benefit of the, of the doubt here, although I don't really trust it because you're a billionaire. I just remember my second pride where I made a different flag themed daisy chain, bracelets, necklaces, necklaces to hand out. I need folks to understand something. They were free. They were fucking free. There were maybe 60 cents of, of uh, acrylic yarn at each at the most, and the whole ziplock bag of them took two hours max. Three people gave me sad eyes until I took their money. Someone who was clearly the mom friend of their group made me take a five dollar and give it a ten minute pep talk. At least four more people insist on giving me on getting changed to pay for the once again free bracelets. In spite of all the shenanigans, the absolute best was this one person who I can only who describe as queer server dude who looks like a boyfriend who who looks like a girlfriend. I remember nothing of the outfit, only impeccable vibes. I did the exact same thing I did with everyone else, explaining the bracelets were free, and they nodded that long as they took the last six strip and and a bracelet. As soon as they had on the wrist, they pointed at something over my shoulder, and like a fool, I looked. <laughs> I, I think it's already in the same impulse. Next thing I know, they're running off tackling. You'll never catch me! And I'm holding a freaking $20 bill. I had to stop at least two people from chasing them because they thought the person stole something. And they tried to give me money because as I thought it was too funny seeing me fly over people being too nice. That was the year I got reverse robbed at Pride. I hope everyone out there is having a good time. And in particular, that queer server dude is out there still causing benevolent chaos. After thinking about it for 15 minutes, I don't know where the fuck my grumbling tendencies come from. I was I was always a little shit at, and I always tried to be helpful, but this is when 19 year old me realized that chaotic and good are not mutually exclusive. The world has not known peace since. We have that whole bit if you're on your if you're 30 on Tumblr, congratulations, mental illness one. And it's true, it's very true, but I have something more important to say. If you're 30 and you're on Tumblr, congrats! You're the same age, age as the people who organized DashCon when they did. You have that in common with them. Um, think on that in your dreams. Achievement unlocked, didn't make DashCon. Achievement locked, so could try to organize another or DashCon. Achievement locked, how did you fuck up a second ball pit? They fucked up a second ball pit. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucked up a second one. Was it one enough? Turn based sex. Take as long as you need to think of a strategy. Hint. <laughs> his pussy is weak to fire magic. Power spray his pussy. Do not. Oh god, they're doing it. 
Nah. If you put a bee in the freezer, it will get cold and fall asleep. After it's asleep, put it in your mouth and but don't eat it. Just let it sit there. It will get warm and wake up. Now you have a bee in your mouth. Why the fuck would I do that? What? Are you an, an I'll find the cryptid, I'll break the cryptid, or I am the cryptid in person? That's just a chain of events. All three. <sighs> but you're a gay lion and actually tried to introduce your lesbian lioness friend to one of her own exes at a gay bar and she goes in the bathroom and bitches you out for not being able to tell her endlessly growth and cast of girlfriends apart, which isn't really fair because first of all, they kept dying their different colors, and second of all, she keeps getting back together with different ones at different times. Meaning all, you've been single for like eight months, but you're spending a lot of time with one specific guy who works at your old co-op and we're going to excitedly tell her about it tonight. But now you've earned the whole subject of dating by trying to introduce her to her own ex at a gay bar, which is a watering hole because you're lions. <laughs> Man at bar. <laughs> oh wait, no. Ro My bad. Man at bar. Hey, can I buy you a drink? Me. Sasuke voice. <laughs> he doesn't even know how important I am on the unpopular microblogging website. Too fair, follow numbers aren't visible. We have no idea how important you are on the unpopular micro or blogging website either. Sasuke voice. <laughs> They're crying. You made them cry, a, a, a Tumblr a, a, a person. One of the most fascinating YouTube subcultures, in my opinion, is the MR or military irrations. I think I think they're the irration thingies. I'm not sure. Taste has a community like those folks who get at their hands on military ready to eat meals and do unboxing and taste tests of them, because um, usually they're perfectly normal, just interested in testing what militaries around the world eat right now. But some of these folks go the extra mile. They go so hard they're trying to destroy themselves with their own hubris. So many people are flying towards the sun at alarming rates are going to not only melt their wings, but also their 100 year old preserved foods, causing them to plummet to their deaths. Their corpses is, is reduced to stewing in the seawater mixed with the remnants of the World War II Soviet pea soup they brought with them. I'm watching a duty meet from a 1902 British military ration right now. My dude is dead ass out here calmly trying to become the last casualty of the second. Of the fucking second boat war. As an archivist and general antiques lover, I put my hands on some horrifyingly old and dirty things, but the idea of ingesting legitimate and American Civil War hardtack makes me want to get my stomach surgery removed. And I'm just so fascinated by these people who see these military antiques and think, nice, there's lunch right there. That uh, smell is just awful. Sir, you are boiling cow meat that predates the First World War. You're boiling beef from a cow that exists at the same time as Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Sir, this kind of beef was canned during the freaking and Dreyfus affair. What, pray tell me, what did you expect from this turn of the century can of meat? <laughs> Today I learned the Bible because there's a passage where it's, it's it became dark in daytime during the crucifixion, the crucifixion of Jesus. It was discovered a total eclipse actually did actually occur on Jerusalem on November 24th, 29 CE at around 11 AM. This fact got dismissed by a church because the day is not in accordance with Easter. Of course. Historians. We found out the actual date Jesus was crucified. Catholic Church, how dare you question our appropriation of pagan and holidays? 
Okay, but could you imagine being a Roman, dialing up some dude who's like, I'm the son of God, bruh. I did this fucking sut and it goes black. I'd shit. Yeah. Big bear bald eagles. Excuse me, number one. I can't seem to remove it from the. Ah remove this. Receive this incomprehensible email from my or or or, or ornithology professor. The fuck, any eagles got him? What the heck? All right. Just look at that reblog. Just look at that blog where the header description said. Sometimes I reblog play posts I d I like, so I don't forget them. And I feel like that right there explains so much about how the site has changed in the last few months. People now think reblogging is an unusual behavior rather than a default. Toddler newbies, please, for the love of baby Jesus, reblog the posts you like. That is the whole reason the site exists for you to collect all your shiny fandom objects in a single space which you can organize to your heart's content, or not organize at all, if that's your jam. Our blogs are intended to be a collection of posts, not a collection of likes. Huh. And yet, this post is not able to be reblogged, which is very, very sad. Okay. I think this is going to be the last one. Legend of Stabby. First, in terms of rock, paper, scissors, love wins. Wrong! Rock! In terms of rock, paper, scissors, love wins. Wrong! Rock! I guess that's why lesbians, you have the least paper. Is protected from the rock so they can safely. I can't read that. Oh my god. <laughs> All fun and games until the room of some ends a demon. Demon, you have summoned me, mortal. What? I do, do you wish to strike with the powers of hell? Roomba is a Roomba. Demon. Roomba. Demon. Roomba. Man, come on, you gotta work with the here a little bit. Roomba slowly spells on floor. K N I F E knife. I see you have heard of the legend of Stabby. Vibrates excitedly. Steven lovingly tapes a, a knife onto the Roomba. No charge! Roomba. <laughs> Love when Tumblr posts become so legendary, they get referenced in other Tumblr posts. It's not just the JPEGs, we you play with like dolls. Some references too. Well, this has been a. Experience. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!